In this video, I'm showing you how to download Badline Client and then go and install it as well. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and leave a like. I really do appreciate it. And also go and subscribe as well as it really helps this channel out. So within this tutorial, I'm showing you the full process of downloading it and then installing it. So without any further ado, let's go and get straight into this. So the first thing you want to do is simply go and open up a search browser. So come to Google or any search browser you would like and simply go on Google for bad lion client. Now a quick note, just because I'm showing you where to get it, as you can, <clears throat> so here we are, as you can see, currently the web address is client.badline.net. So click there and it's going to take you to the home page. Now a quick note, don't stop watching now so I'm about to show you how to go and install it and how to go and use it. So let's go and continue with this. So as you can see, Badline Client and upgrade to a better free Minecraft experience today. Now you're probably wondering what are the main benefits? Now this is covered in the FAQ section. Also, you're probably wondering, is this allowed on servers? You're gonna to have to check for each server. But for example, this is allowed on Hypixel. For example, here it says Badline Client is allowed, as you can see, permitted and uh, yeah you have to check for each server but this is allowed on Hypixel. So anyway let's go and click on the download so I'm going to click on Windows download but you need to download uh, the one which is for your system which could be Mac or Linux as well. Then it says to maximize the download possibilities for Badline client we offer multiple locations to download the client from. Just click recommended download and it's going to do the fastest download basically um, so yeah. Also the download will vary on your computer speed so let's wait for this to finish. So it's now finished, as you can see, let's go and open this up. So click on it. You're then gonna get a, a Windows sort of pop-up saying you, if you want to allow it. I personally click yes, but my screen recorder doesn't allow that to be screen recorded. So I'm gonna read through this and then go and click agree. So I'm gonna hit agree, and then you can go and choose where you want to install it. So I'm gonna install mine in my program files and then go and click install. So as you can see, it's now literally installing it right now. So it's now go and finished it. It says completing the bad light client setup. It's been installed to your computer and you can go and click with it to be run right now. So I'm gonna go and run it right now, click finish, and then it's gonna go and open it up right now and we can go and continue setting it up. So it'll take a minute to hit finish and it's gonna take a minute to load as you can see. And I just had another Windows security pop up, so hopefully in a minute, it's gonna go and load the next window. And now it's going and downloading files as you can see. But if it doesn't automatically launch for you, then I recommend just finding the shortcut, which should be on your desktop or somewhere else in your computer, and you can go and launch it from there. But what you want to do is wait for it to do all these downloads and it should install it as well. As you can see, it's going up to 100% here, but it may take some time depending on your internet and computer speeds. So I've just had this window, so I'm gonna go and make this a bit bigger and we can go and continue. So as you can see, it says log into Badline. I recommend registering, so click register your Badline account. And then all you want to do is go and add your Minecraft account. So as you can see, I've previously added mine, mine's Tucker underscore. To go and add it, all you want to do is click add account. And as you can see, you then need to go and log in with your Microsoft account. So to do that, you click log in Microsoft account and it's gonna go and bring a pop-up. And as you can see, you can then go and log in there. It's gonna go and add it to your account or you can go and sign in here as well. So once you've added it, you then wanna go and select it in the, in the down menu by clicking there. Then enter an email and confirm it as well. So I'm gonna enter mine now. And then once you've registered, you're gonna get this pop-up here saying account creation successful, check your email to complete the process, and then we can go and log in. So click understood. Then I'm gonna go and check my email. As you can see, I now need to go and enter my date of birth. So I'm gonna enter mine in right now, and then we can go and continue with the tutorial. Then it's gonna to have to require you to enter a password. So I'm gonna enter mine now. So I'm gonna go and click register, and it's gonna take a minute to load. And as you can see, congratulations. Your registration is complete. Log in using the navigation bar. So now we've gone and set this login, we can now go and go back to our Badline client and we can go and enter our email and password. So I'm gonna do that right now. And then we can go and hop into this. So let me just finish this off and enter a password, which I just set up now and click login. As you can see, it's now loading and here we are. And I've just had this pop up here about the Badline anti-cheat. Now basically, if you install this, you don't have to do it right now but it just gives a overall a cheetah free experience because everyone who uses this definitely doesn't have any mods. So that's up to you and you can go and install it if you'd like. So then all you want to do is go and click launch. You've got a few settings here. Then you can go and change the Minecraft version to whatever you'd like. You can use Optifine if you'd like. Um, and you, there are a few other settings as well like settings. You can go and change the, all of that depending on what you want to do. So you could allocate more RAM if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, that's literally it. There are so many options and let's go and test this out. But yeah, there are so many options you can test out, but let's go and click launch and I'll show you what it's like. So as you can see, it's now launching and here we go. Now I've just got this download as there's an update available. So I'm gonna wait for this to finish and then I'll catch up to you once it's all done. Now, as you can see on my screen, my Badline client has now launched. 
So as you can see, you've got a ton of options here. So what we want to do is simply click on the mode profiles and you can go and check that out if you'd like. My Bad Line client has now launched. As you can see, there are a ton of options. You've got a single player, multiplayer, cosmetic, store, so much stuff. So I'm gonna go and show you the single player. So click on single player and this is just showing you my saves from my other game as well. So I'm gonna click create new world and go, just go into a survival. As you can see, the text does look a bit different as well, which is kind of cool. Um, so we'll just wait for this to load and then I'll be showing you what it sort of roughly looks like. So here we are guys, as you can see, it's using Optifine as well, which I did specify when loading up this launcher. But yeah guys, that's literally it. And that's literally it guys. You can now go and test out all the awesome benefits which Badline Client does have. And if you're interested in finding out all the features and exactly what they do, then I really do go and recommend checking out their website. If you found this video useful, please subscribe, leave a like. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.